Well, lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are calling out President Donald Trump for what he did not say in the immediate aftermath of Saturday's violence. Many think he missed an opportunity to condemn neo-Nazis and white supremacists. CBS 4's Errol Barnett has reaction. President Trump is being criticized by fellow Republicans for being too vague in his initial response to the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia on Saturday. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides, on many sides. He also refused an opportunity to call out white nationalists. Mr. President, do you want the support of these white nationalist groups who say they support you, Mr. President? I think the president can be clear when he wants to be. He needs to be clear here. Today, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham called neo-Nazis domestic terrorists. I would urge the president to dissuade them of the fact that, they're, that he's sympathetic to their cause, because their cause is hate. It is un-American. Responding to pressure this morning, a White House spokesman offered a more specific rebuke, saying the president's condemnation, of course, includes white supremacists, KKK, neo-Nazi, and all extremist groups. But it is clear leaders of right-wing ideology support the president. Former KKK Grand Wizard David Duke in Charlottesville yesterday. We're going to fulfill the promises of Donald Trump. That's what we believed in. That's why we voted for Donald Trump. The president denies he has anything to do with the rise in confidence of white nationalists or racial division. Errol Barnett, CBS News, Bridgewater, New Jersey. And stay with CBS 4 News and CBSBiami.com for continuing coverage of the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia, and reaction from across the nation. We'll have overnight developments on CBS 4 this morning beginning at 5 a.m.